I think you already got the idea that when we are writing a literature review, we are going to use some sources of information. Now, most likely you are told at your university that to write a fine research, you should use as a sources of information, academic articles. And you should not use blogs or some online resources or especially not Wikipedia. So let me talk a little bit about these sources of information. First of all, academic articles. We are being told that academic articles, that's the greatest source of information. Now, from my experience, that is not always true because of several reasons. Now, first of all, think about how long time it takes for academic article to be published. So let's say a phenomena happens and then some academics decide to write an article about it and then it takes one year to get that article published and then let's say it will take one more year uh, for that academic article to reach you. So academic articles can be describing something that has happened five or 10 or 15 years ago. So often it happens that academic articles are outdated. So be careful when choosing these so that you do not choose sort of old academic articles, which are not that relevant for you anymore. Second of all, um, not all of the academic articles are the best. And I mean, uh, from my experience, I have seen a lot of articles which were not of that high quality. And the reason behind why not all of the articles are of the greatest quality is simply because, um, you know, publishing these articles is a great business. So nowadays, uh, there are thousands of journals that are publishing the articles and they are not that caring about uh, the quality of the article. They just want to get it published so they can get some money for it, right? Um, so when you will be taking the academic articles, evaluate the quality of it. Also, maybe check the journal where this article was published, if it is a high quality journal or if it is some unknown low quality journal, then maybe even the article is of, not of that high quality. Most of my videos are available for free on YouTube. If you would like to check out full research method for business students course, which is almost four hours long, please check out the link in description where you will find a special discount code.